my name is Brita Nevitt and I just finished my last final, which was Math 1B. After a crazy dead week of nonstop studying and main stacks being full of kids and the naked run and a series of crazy events for a freshman. Um, <laughs> it, I'm so happy that it's over and I'm excited to celebrate with a delicious potato curry meal from Food Collective. <laughs> Do you have to GSI at all, or is it it's not like the other grad programs? A take home final that I was working on with a group of friends, and that was for my Swahili class. And then I have an SBUM class final on Friday. Um, what's the survival food? What are you looking for that's going to help get you through this week, or should I say the survival drink? Um, I guess, well, coffee, just you know, because not a lot of sleep, so just trying to stay awake during the day. But I guess, other than that, I would just be like, just like eating healthy, and not like a lot of junk food, just so I don't get like too bogged down with the unhealthy stuff. Yes, it is finals week. Uh, in, as expected, the store is a little slower this week. Um, one really excellent thing that we've noticed about it being slow this week is that our slow days this semester are equivalent to our pretty good days last semester. So we've had about a 60% uh, growth increase from spring semester to fall, which is awesome. Um, it's definitely slower. There's fewer customers. They tend to want um, chocolate-covered espresso beans, lots of coffee, caffeinated drinks, the guayaki energy shots tend to sell a lot better. It's kind of a, an organic alternative to uh, five-hour energy and doesn't put a lot of crap in your body. Uh, a lot of it's just like vitamin B12. Uh, closing for a month over the winter holidays, so we're slowly getting rid of uh, a lot of the food that would expire, spoil, over break. And of course, members who help us close on Saturday will get to take home that the food that will expire. Uh, so that's the benefit of helping us close if you're a member.